The disrespect is over 9,000. Oh my goodness. So I came across this video of Kamala Harris, you know, the VP of the United States of America, her, that's correct. You know, the woman that slept her way to the top, that's correct, her. And Kamala Harris is at this summit. And I started hearing her talk. And I'm like, okay, all right, that's what's up. Let's go, Kamala. Because what she's talking about is that, hey, America, this country has never really fully acknowledged what has happened to you guys, okay? Has never, never fully acknowledged what has happened in the history of this country when it comes to the treaties that were broken. Now I'm like, all right, absolutely. Reparations, 100%. She then goes on talking about to the harmful assimilation policies. I was like, I'll be damned. Yeah, let's go, girl, absolutely. Segregation, then Jim Crow, Fugitive Slave Act. Like, let's, let's go, let's get this. Then she goes on and talks about the violence that has befallen these group of people. I'm like, absolutely, Kamala, let's go 100%. And she goes on to talk about, hey, what we as a country are gonna do for the tribes. For too long, our country did not fully acknowledge or reckon with the full history of the relationship between the federal government and native tribes. Huh? A history that includes broken treaties, harmful assimilation policies, displacement, dispossession, and violence. These acts were not only a violation of basic human rights, but also an attack on the very existence of tribal nations. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. President Biden and I are committed to speaking truth about these horrors and to work on healing intergenerational trauma. What? And I'm like, wait, what? You, for the tribes? What do you, what do you mean the tribes? Sure enough, this woman is talking at some tribal summit. Now, mind you, I always find it humorous that there's a tribal summit, there's a Jewish summit, there's an Asian summit that all these black politicians go and speak to. I'm unaware, is there a black summit that I'm missing that, that none of them go to and talk to? I, I'm just unaware. Maybe, once again, maybe it could be my ignorance, and it is what it is. I'm ignorant on a variety of things. Maybe there is a black summit that they go to um, and they say all these things and they make all these promises, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Nevertheless, she then goes on, starts talking about, hey, what the country is doing for them. We're increasing the federal spending. Hey, we're doing this, we're doing that, and we will continue to do this. Under the leadership of Secretary Holland, we have created the first official list of boarding schools that received federal support. We have identified dozens of marked and unmarked graves associated with those schools and launched an oral history project to collect the stories of the survivors, many of whom are now the elders, to create a permanent record of these abuses so they can never be denied. Damn! In addition, President Biden and I continue to defend the Indian Child Welfare Act, ICWA. Okay, to make atonement for our transgressions. You have to understand, we sorry, we apologize. Now, I wouldn't have an issue with this, per se, because the only reason that I have an issue with this, the only reason, because I have to, you have to understand, I don't have an issue. Hey, if that person gets paid, that person gets paid, that person gets paid, fine by all means. Now, when it comes to me, hey, do I get paid? But the moment in time you say, hey, you lift yourself up by the bootstrap. <laughs> the moment in time you have policies, regulations, laws that benefit everyone else. But then you look at us and go, stop being lazy. That's when I start to get a little perturbed. That's, that's when I start to go, okay, we have a problem. All right, because I distinctly remember this woman upon being asked direct, directly regarding reparations, directly, 
That's what 100%, just straight up, are you for reparations? She goes and says, hey, I'm not going to do anything just for black people. <laughs> do you support reparations for black people? Well, listen, again, we had over 200 years of slavery. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No, because whatever benefits that black family will benefit that community and society as a whole in the country. Now, that moment forward, if you voted for Kamala and, and Biden, that's on you, Pimpin. That's on you. All right. Because I want to make something very very crystal clear. This is not a Democrat problem. I know there are going to be those individuals who talk about, oh, Democrats, Democrats, Democrats. They haven't done anything for us in 50 years. Democrats haven't done anything for us in 50 years. OK, please stop saying that, because what that is, is that you're practically on a bullhorn shouting to everyone. Black people are dumb. That's what you're doing when you say that. Black people are politically inept. That's what you're saying. The collective are a bunch of clowns. That's what you're saying when you say that dumb, dumb statement. Because that is an embarrassment. The issue is not voting for Democrats. The issue is you getting something in return. And here's the thing. They have been very open and honest. Very open. You have Kamala who just went, who in an interview just said, I'm not going to do anything for black people like that. What are you talking about? Now, you can say what you want about Charleston White. I think there's a, I think the man is bipolar, schizophrenic, there's a variety of things. But even, you know, the, even a broken clock is right twice a day. And it's like, hey, you guys are already on George Floyd and I'm still on Tamir Rice. So when it comes down to it, this reparations, like I've been hearing, if you look back, these conversations have been going on and on and on. The rebuttals have been going on and on. Well, what about the Union soldiers who died and blah, 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 blah? The thing is, there has to be an actual serious movement. There has to be some progress being made in a direction. You just moving around, talking, rallies, all that, that's not progress. Do not conflate movement for progress. So when you have a woman like that who says that, there should be an immediate backlash. The DNC should understand, hey, if this woman is the VP of Biden, and mind you, she couldn't even get a significant amount of the black vote when she was trying to get the nominee. So right off the bat, People are like, mm, nah, we're good. So there should have been an immediate backlash to the DNC where they knew, hey, if they if we couple Biden with Kamala, that is a recipe for disaster. There will be no black turnout. None. That's what should have happened. But here's the thing. I see more outrage over, you know, a police shooting than I do when we have Kamala Harris talking about, I'm not going to do anything for black people specifically. What are you talking about? That same uproar that we have when it came to George Floyd or Breonna Taylor or Elijah McClain or any other of the black lives that have been stolen, that same thing needs to be in the political arena. It has to be. It has to be. If you are more uh, uh, hostile and aggressive over who wins a football game as opposed to who gets elected to city council or whatnot, then we're always going to be taking L's. Always. And if you look at how it's been structured, that is primarily what they want you to focus on. These mofos are the modern day political Houdinis. All right. They hate. Hey, look over here. Look over here while they pass some bills and legislation and, and laws and stuff that benefits everyone else but you. In some cases, hin hinders you. But look over here. Hey, what's going on with uh, 50 Cent? Hey, what's going on with, uh, I don't know, Chris Brown? Hey, what's happening in this show, this TV show? Can you believe she said that? Hey, what's happening here? Oh, my God, the scandal. What's up? Bruh, you got to X, X that out, bro. X that out 100%. We are not in a position as a collective to watch entertainment. 
You may not like it. You may not want to hear it. But we are, as a collective, not in a position to be watching reality TV shows. Not in a position to know what the, what the, the score is of the football game. We're not in a position to know who's going to the playoffs. We're not in a position to know how many points LeBron James uh, scored last game. Not in a position. You have got to dispose of that useless knowledge and get your eye on the ball. Stay focused. Because that same fervor that we have for other, other activities, and that's why I don't believe this whole, oh, we got to unite. We unite perfectly. Unite perfectly over a variety of things. We just have to unite over things that are actually going to benefit us as a group, as a collective. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, look, 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 you forget about the Democrats. I'm not going to vote at all. I'm, I'm not going to vote at all. I'm going to vote Republican. You know, I, I don't care what they say. Um, or if you don't believe, it's, you're, you're missing the point. <laughs> you're, you're missing the point. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. If you want to have a demand met, you have to make it be known. We don't have anyone to make that be known. A lot of these leaders are not for us. So we have to rebuild and we have to rebuild from the ground up. We are not in a position like any other group. What happened in 2002, what happened in 1995, what happened before that, that is not where we are in 2023. And that needs to be a realization for us. So we need to attack this like our livelihood depends on it. Nevertheless, if you happen to disagree with this video, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days, which are typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what the plan moving forward, rebuilding, reorganizing, restructuring. Um, and, and, you know, feel free to, to, to share, subscribe, all oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people.